Without all the possibilities, all of the timelines, he managed to weave his way through the one where he's managing to stay alive in the tournament. Now let's get over to here. This is a matchup that everyone has been watching from week to week here. It's going to be Zomba versus Tilden. Yep, I think the only time we have uh, seen this turnout in Zomba's favor was during the Xeno Saga Monthly, but not part of the weekly. Tilde has been taking this pretty convincingly most of the time. All right, feeling it out. Again, this is a rough part of this matchup. Rob does have issues with landing, and Falco, one of the most aerial uh, mobile characters in the game. I mean, just the fact that he has that double jump that goes so high and basically threatens. Normally, Rob can float up high, you know, be like, hey, I'm just going to back air. I'm just going to do whatever. No. Falco can get up there in an instant. Mm -hmm. I like the Phantasm on that one, recognizing the back air out of range and then goes to punish the landing with Phantasm. <gasps> oh, the last hits of that up air connecting were big, but unfortunately, Zomba did not actually manage to find some type of follow up. It is worth noting the percent's very even right now. Maybe a little bit scarier for Zone, but just by you know, the nature of the kill power so consistent from Tilde. Mm -hmm. Very good patience on that one as He's well. Tilde with... Dead. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it, he could have recovered if he didn't have a giant down air from Zomba that was waiting for him at the ledge. All right, twisting around. Didn't quite get it on that one. Might have been trying to um, SDI through for the roll. Or not shield DI. I don't remember what the target um, is. There is. I think he also maybe could just angle. In shield SDI. Yeah, in in shield SDI. Him. He also maybe could have uh, just angled his shield to make sure he didn't get hit by the last hit. Mm -hmm. All right, the chase there, that was going to be the back air. I don't think that would have killed, but that would have continued to put Zomba in a poor position. Just like, is that right now? <laughs> And all these hops just, oh yeah, this could be a double jump and an up air to kill you, so. I mean, he still took like 5 to 6% just from being in the magnifying glass for like, <laughs> you know, for an entire TikTok length. Mm-hmm. It's scary. Oh no, the air dodge. All right. It's two air dodge kills so far in this game. I do like the hit with uh, the back hit of Nair on that one, potentially going for a combo conversion after that, but nothing doing as Tilde is shielding. Not in too much of a rush in this one, and we have seen a lot when Tilde has a lead, he knows how to hold it and how to pressure the opponent with it. Oh, that combo snatched away from Tilde, and now he does have to be kind of scared. When you're, you know, at the ledge like this, when you're off stage like this, I love the high recovery. Definitely Zomba looking for maybe a down angle to the ledge. And if Tilda had bitten and gone for that, you'd be dead right now. Instead, mm -hmm. that was surviving. the guess. Uh, dead? Yeah. No angle's going to save you from that one. If he went straight up, you think you maybe could have drifted back? I was just thinking about it. I think maybe the drift could have happened, but that down air does not have a lot of recovery on it. I think he maybe still could have gotten swatted, but <laughs> potentially living. Sorry, that's my, my innate Mickey Mouse coming out. For no, a it's all good. I completely understand. This is. See, and again, we've seen all these hops just threatening, oh yeah, I can go up, and then Tilde with the full hop into the upper, which could kill with this percent. Oh, and that's going to be a forwarder to actually take it? Yep. Nice. Yeah, and again, Tilde is fantastic about threatening these options because it's clear as day. Zumba is sitting there in shield. Okay, I know back air can kill me. I know back air can kill me. I know back air can kill me. Till they moved away, I'll just jump. No, you won't. You're dead. Till they does not need to commit to a thing. Till they has the lead. Till they is in no danger of dying. Till they has the entire. I would not go that far. Till they is in very little chance of dying, um, <laughs> at any given time. He might spontaneously I mean, combust. Well, I haven't seen keep it. Keep in mind, Rob Gyro combos. There, I have seen him die at zero. That's to true. Zomba's shenanigans. That's true. But it is something to pay attention to a lot of the times because it's very easy to look at Tilde's flashy play, but the flashy play enables something else, which is fear of getting hit by the flashy play. So then you see Tilde jump. Oh no, it'll be that cool ass down there, and then I'll get chased and I'll eat like 70%. And he's not doing anything, and I've committed to a defensive option, and I'm dead. Yeah, and the thing is, like, despite the fact that. Zomba has played against, I mean, at this point, he's played against Tilde a lot. The fact that Tilde is still evolving, still managing to find ways to keep Zomba on his toes, not really you know, sure how to proceed through the aggression, that in and of itself speaks volumes. But we're now at a point where both of these guys in the red, next hit here might kill, and that's going to do it. Yep, call out on the jump. Well, call out on the jump timing on that one. That covered a lot of options on that one, but very oh. difficult. 
very scary to hold the ledge against Rob. Still getting the conversion to the forward air, jeez. Man. So, uh, sorry, Tilda always knows exactly how to link hit into hit into hit. Yeah, that there up it is. Air. Yep. Not only that, I know one thing he does with the up air is he kind of mixes you up with the cross up of it. So mm -hmm. if you DI for where, you know, thinking it's going to hit in front of you and then he hits behind, your DI is just going to go straight up and you just you, you explode at like 0%. <laughs> Not zero, but like. Yeah. yeah. At that percent, I think a lot of stuff would have exploded him. But yes, definitely mixing up the DI is a tricky thing to deal with. All right, actually unsafe on the spacing with that forward or going a little too deep on that. And Zoma oh. gonna take control of the stage because of that one mistake. No jump. I'm surprised Zoma didn't go for a side B. I think he wanted to go for back here to make sure he still had time to you know, react. Oh, okay. oh, Making it back. No conversion off Illusion. And you see right there, no conversion available off of Phantasm. Jumps and baits it, goes for the counter hit or the whiff punish. All right, scary place. Oh, that'll just kill. Wow. That does send at a pretty advantageous angle when you're at that sort of percent and you're that far off stage. Understandable. And it's also, there's a chance he wasn't DIing for it perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, he might have been holding that angle for um, for the actual angle of the uh, of the Fox Fire. Firebird, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Once again, the old reliable up tilt coming in for the combos. It's now on Zomba to land. Yeah. <laughs> the read was there, too. And you'll notice that Zomba is a lot more comfortable going for these high recoveries with this particular platform layout. Oh, but, you know, getting, getting a little bit too comfortable. He doesn't need platforms to get all the way up there. You know, as soon as you get within his zone, he can go right up to meet you. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And we've seen Zomba try to mix it up a little bit with these back airs, making it a little ambiguous, trying to land with Nair. But... It's always going to be in Falco's court when you're landing. No. Oh, no. He maybe could have air dodged to live, but I think if you air dodge in that position, Zomba yeah, would be it's... there to, to make sure you die no matter what. Even then, um, that might have been a percent where air dodging would have shifted him into the blast zone because it shifts you I... a little bit. Does it? I thought that air dodging... Directional air dodge makes you die later. So, yeah, so the thing is, is that it resets your aerial momentum, but when you do a directional air dodge, the first couple frames, you ship in the opposite, uh, shift. But it in the also cancels direction. your hit stun earlier than, say, a jump would. I'm not 100% sure on that. I just know that I have seen multiple times people who will do the air dodge and the shift will kill them. Um, so it might be a scenario of there was no way out of that. Hard to say. All right, actually getting out of the drag down on that one with the spot dodge really play. Oh, I love that parry on the landing hit of the forward air led to, a, you know, a, some nice damage. And they're going back and forth. We haven't really seen that much back and forth between these two. Normally, it's one player just blows up the other. Oh, but, you know, they're, I mean, maybe it just took a little while to happen. Because mm -hmm. as it stands, Zomba at 75%. Oh! Yep, had a call out that Zomba was going to go for the right platform on that one, but nothing doing. Zomba going the entire opposite way. All right. Also, I think it, it, you know, it says a lot that Zomba grabs him and immediately goes for that back throw, trying to get him off stage. He knows that that's where his big plays have been happening. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Patient. That was good reactions on that one. All right. That's so scary to do. Even if you can potentially hit Rob, there's always a hurt, uh, hitbox available when Rob is recovering like that. Oh. Nice, the chase. Actually, uh, weaving in on the end lag of one of the back airs on that one. Oh, and he actually grabs the gyro after reflecting it. That could have been some big damage. Oh, but the big damage comes regardless. All of these moves and might even be able to reset on the platform. No, the neutraler gets Zomba back down to the ground. And the up smash turnaround. We now have two stocks apiece. 61% on Zomba doesn't look too great, but, you know, at least he's uh, made it even footing. And, you know, he can still die. Tilda can be knocked off stage and die to a side beat even now. Mm -hmm. This is very much still available for both players. This is only like one interaction for everything to change momentum wise. All right, this is a really good spot for Tilde, though. Once again, catching a Rob landing. Actually, a little too far out to get the confirm into the back air. 
that in the end he just finds it raw. And that's a massive pickup for Zomba. I mean, I'm sorry, for Tilde rather. He's only at 75%. He can, oh yeah, once he gets one of those combos started, already 47 onto Zomba. And that's the sort of thing that can grow and compound once he gets that point where the kill confirms are, you know, threatening. Then the fact that Zomba has to play around it makes it so much trickier. And again, we're seeing catching that landing on the platforms for Small Battlefield on this one. It is difficult, even though Zomba gets back so often, to make landings work with this character. There's only so many ways you can mix it up, and they're slow. I love that tech roll away because, you know, Zomba went for the down smash, which covered both tech roll and place. Really? Oh, okay, I, I was about to explain a scenario, but <laughs> what totally didn't give me time. What? I think that was the cross up on the up air. Oh, cross maybe. up DI man the up air. We can get a replay on this. He was, at, he was at 797. Okay, well, actually, he was at a 111 after the hit. Wait, let's take a look here. Yeah, the back hit on that yeah, one. Yeah, that looked like out. it was... Did he... Wait, did he raw it? Let me see. Let's say. Uh, no, he no, was facing forward, forward, forward. Facing. So that... Yeah, that, that might have just been kill percent. I mean, that is quite high percent. up into the blast zone. Small battlefield. What? That's the yeah, DI line. The... That's not perfect DI for... Up there, is it? You just want to DI to the left. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's DI left or if you want to DI down a little bit on that one. But either I way, mean, that was uh, kind of a surprise on that one. You don't see too many chases off of the up throw for that. 